You have to be battle tested in the weight room. You got to know what it feels like to be sore so you won't quit in one week. Right? You got to know that you ain't been doing nothing in a while and them legs is going to get sore. So if you can't sit on the toilet like you want to, I don't want to hear that crying. I don't want to hear that complaining, bro. You ain't did nothing, sis. Where you been at? What's up? It's your brother. Your cousin, your uncle, your nephew, your friend, but it can't be your son as you can't folk. Will Henry with God's will fitness. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. All right, and turn the notifications on so you can receive all the new videos when I release them, when I post them. So thank y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all for supporting and uh, continue. You know, I, I want to show my appreciation by giving y'all these messages, giving y'all these words of wisdom, giving y'all these words of encouragement. That's what I do it for, right? Because I got to prepare you for education. I got to prepare you for the mindset. And then I got to prepare you to do the work, right? And, you know, when it comes to that work, it's a lot of work that could break your back, right? It's a lot of work that could give your feet blisters. It's a lot of work that could put calluses on your hands. It's a lot of work. And a lot of people are not willing to do it. It's a lot of work. But ain't nobody standing in line trying to be next up. Right? Everyone's looking around seeing what everyone else is doing. You got to have some scars on your back. You have to have gone through the storm. You have to have gone through some trials and some tribulations. The hard knocks. You have to got hit upside your head. Not literally, but through experiences in life, through heartbreaks, through pain, right? Through self-affliction, through making mistakes. You had to get some type of turbulence, right? So that way when things are moving too fast, you know how to keep your composure. You have to be battle tested in the weight room. You gotta know what it feels like to be sore so you won't quit in one week. Right? You got to know that you ain't been doing nothing in a while and them legs is going to get sore. So if you can't sit on the toilet like you want to, I don't want to hear that crying. I don't want to hear that complaining, bro. You ain't did nothing, sis. Where you been at? You, you was counseling. You was giving me those no call, no shows. So don't cry when you get sore. Don't cry when you ain't been able to breathe like you usually would have had you been consistent, right? You gotta be battle tested and you gotta know that these things are gonna happen, right? If you lost weight before, you should be able to know how to lose it again. And you know it, it's not gonna be easy. You know it's gonna take some type of commitment, some type of dedication. You know you can't have step it, right? You're a little bit older now. You know you can't take the same approach. You got to be a little bit more committed. Come on, fam. We already talked about this. We already had this discussion. You're battle tested. You've been through the war. You've been through the trenches. You done heard the shots being fired. You done had to duck a few of them. You done had to weave around the temptation. You had to... Go get the discipline. You had to make sacrifices on the battlefield. You had to be battle tested. You had to have that purple heart. Right? You had to be decorated. You had to be a soldier in his army. Because fitness is a war within. Discipline is a war within. Why you think it's so much procrastination? Why you think it's so much doubting? Why you think it's so much lying? Why do you think it's so much deceiving? Misbehaving, it's a war within. You're fighting against your emotions. You're fighting against your feelings. You're, you're fighting against these compulsive actions. But if you're battle tested, <laughs> if, if, if you've been in trouble before, right? <laughs> if you've been face down in the dirt before, right? If you've been heartbroken before, if you've been hurt, you've been injured before, 
Right, you been flat on your back, you been tired, tongue all out on the side, like a dog, you you gasping for air. If you've been out of breath before, you should know what it's going to take, you should know how it feel like, you should know you don't want to go back to that, you should know, right, if you've gained the wisdom. So I just want to keep y'all motivated, I just want to keep y'all encouraged, right, so stay battle tested, right, stay firm, stay strong, stay grounded, stay rooted. Because they're going to try to move you. They're going to try to shake you. They're going to try to put you in some bad soil. They're going to try to make the rain overflow. Right? They don't want you to still be strong. Right? Still be stoic. So this is God's will fitness. Salute.